So yeah, Dope Style Gaming back from work and chilling. Thank you for asking. Lone Wolf, uh, Lone Wolf says, "Hey, Dope Style Gaming, hope you're well." So yeah, yeah, it's good to see you both in the chat. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, I just hope that when when things start to settle down a bit with the whole Ukraine thing, that costs will start coming down again. Mm. Because if they stay the way, they, I, I, I'm very skeptical that they're going to come down. Yeah. If, if, if well, they might not even come down at all, but even if they come down a little bit, then it'll be it'll be beneficial to uh, to us riders. Um, but it's, that's the thing: all these added costs are driving kind of motorcycle, the whole motorcycle industry, into the ground because people just can't afford to ride them, even even though they want to. So we just don't get a choice in the matter, unfortunately, which is an absolute pain. Uh, but I hope that, that it, it sorts itself out. Um, and yeah, I mean, if, if any of you watching that are struggling to pay for your motorcycle and things like that, I really do feel sorry for you. And I hope that you do find a way of keeping your bike on the road and you're able to continue enjoying it. There are loads of ways of running a bike on a budget. Unfortunately, a lot of the time it's mainly due to the bike that you actually choose to buy so if you are anticipating increased costs in the future costs that are outside of your control and you know you're going broke because of it then you know always budget accordingly with the kind of bike that you're looking to buy instead of instead of buying that r1 you know maybe look at an older r1 or maybe look at um something something that's a little bit more future proof in your budgeting uh i i'm gonna be honest i'm not the best at budgeting and i mean we we're in a lucky position that we're able to absorb the added costs of energy and fuel but i know that's not the case for a lot of people and yeah uh i i well i've said this to you before i regret buying my car a few years ago, uh, I bought a, a really nice Audi TT, had like 2,000 miles on it, and I was so pleased with it, I've hardly used it. Because as, as, um, as soon as I bought the car, which is in March 2021, when I bought my car? No, year before. 2020? Mm -hmm. 2020, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, because then uh, all the lockdowns started happening for COVID. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had a car that, <laughs> brand new well basically a brand new car that we weren't we weren't able to use and to be honest since then you know i've been more involved in riding my bikes than driving my cars cars driving our cars so mm. i i regretted buying a more expensive car just because i could afford it at the time it wasn't a good idea and now yeah i, I wish i'd bought a, a cheaper car unfortunately and yeah th these are all the things that you have to consider isn't it when when you're looking at buying a motorcycle just to you know just to make sure you can keep yourselves afloat That's after it. you've got it and you know it's like you can look into a crystal ball and make a guess about you know so i can afford this one thing now today and then in a year's time or even six months time i well, well actually that, that was another thing that happened wasn't it because when covid happened i just bought my new car and then uh within a month i was on furlough I was on the furlough scheme, wasn't I, from from work? And then a few months after that, I got I got sacked from from well, I got made redundant. So that was a scary time as well, because then I had to find a, a new job again. Um, so yeah, all these things they play a massive part in being able to afford a motorcycle. And unfortunately, it's just one of the, if if you are lucky enough and you don't need to run a car, then yeah, yeah, you've you've you're pretty much there. But for most people, we have to have a car. We have to have a bike. Well, no, I have to have a car and I, I have to have a bike. But most people have to have a car uh, and most people want a bike. Yeah. Unfortunately. But. I do think we'll have to stop you going to the demo days. Otherwise, we're just never going to have any room for anything else. Uh, so. Yeah. No, um, yeah, I, I'm looking to do some test rides in the near future on, on some some bikes but yeah like the wife said unfortunately i'm just gonna want them <laughs> but we literally um, cannot afford them yeah and that's so, how we ended up yeah. with the h2 yep <laughs> and i'm yep. not one to say no so i'm i'm no help in this situation am i 
Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, we'll just have a look at the chat one last time before we sign off. Uh, Dope Star Gaming, a quote for my YZFR125 is £1,300, and that's for third party only. Oh, my word. Wow, okay. Gives you chills out, doesn't it? Um, like that. that's, <laughs> and that's in London. Jesus. I think, yeah, there was a, another... Wasn't there another another viewer a few months ago that said that they had a they bought a Ninja One Two Five and again they had, they lived in the London district yes and their insurance was something ridiculous as well oh was it like years, three or four thousand pounds for a year I don't pay that much it's more than the cost of the bike See, that's in- yeah. incredible my insurance is not that high so yeah but. Mate, I I feel for you. I I really do. That is that is horrific. Um yeah, location is one of those things that you can't you can't get away from. You have to put in your your the the place that you live. You have to put that in. You can't I did toy with the idea with the ZH2 of of putting the insurance premium under my uh, mum and dad's address. Um but it wouldn't work. It, it simply wouldn't work. You, you know, if you get caught out for it, You've you got a fine and all sorts of stuff. So, because what is it count? Is, is it fraud that they do you for if you put down the wrong something like that? Yeah, incorrect like details evasion, or something like that. Something. I don't know, but yeah, you you can't get away with it, unfortunately. So yeah, well, and that's another thing as well. When they put through the credit scoring, as well, obviously it's, it goes against your own house, the place where you live. It doesn't go against the uh, someone else's house. So you can't even get away with it then anyway. Because mm. <laughs> uh, they'll catch you out straight away as soon as they go through the credit check. It's very much a dead end, that, isn't it? Yeah, but honestly. Well, that's, that's the thing, is it? That's what it drives us to. It drives us to trying to find new ways of trying to save a penny here and there because You're it's getting wrong. too expensive. So Yeah, to spend on our electricity or food instead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. Dope Star Gaming uh, was planning on getting it in literally a few weeks when my birthday comes around, but I might have to hold off fold off now oh god so you haven't got the bike yet jesus and it's all because of the insurance cost <coughs> but happy birthday when it's there yeah 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 happy birthday in a few weeks time um i hope that you are able to uh, scrounge up the uh, the cash that you need for it because uh well actually that that was an experience as well uh when i did my cbt there was a a guy there i got a uh, he wasn't a friend of mine, but he was an acquaintance. I, I I knew him, and we did our CBT together. And he had a a YZF one R one two five, and uh, we were practicing. Uh, no, it wasn't CBT. No, it wasn't CBT. Excuse me. It was my well. I was doing the training for my full license, and yeah, he had an R one two five, and we were practicing emergency braking. In a in like a an enclosed space it wasn't a big space it was an enclosed well yeah the place where you did your cbt mm. that was the exact same place where i did my my motorcycle training in there and it's not a very big car park is it at no all? not at all and so we were practicing doing emergency braking and he was the first one to go this this guy on this uh, r125 and he slammed on his front brakes and the bike went diving into the ground and just <laughs> just ground down the fairing on, on the left hand side and it was a brand new bike as well. Brand spanking new. I was, oh God, I felt so sorry for the guy. 